Hi, this is Nina from Nina Designs, and I'm in Bali to show you how our beautiful jewelry parts are made. From intricate palm leaf offerings to ornately carved temple walls, the people of Bali festoon their island with art that is worthy of their beautiful land. Historically, the royal courts of Bali were avid patrons of the arts. Villages specialized in different art forms. This village became a community of gold and silversmiths. Creating granulated jewelry is an extremely labor-intensive process. It requires tremendous skill and a large reserve of patience. An unsteady hand can quickly ruin the design, and a moment too long under the torch can cause the whole pattern to crumble. To begin, the silversmith mixes pure silver in the form of little pellets with a very small amount of copper for added strength. She adds a touch of borax to help melt the metals and burn off impurities. Then she heats the mixture with a torch. When the silver liquefies, she pours it into molds. A square mold for plate or a round mold for wires. Once solid, the round bars are progressively fed through smaller and smaller ridges in the rolling mill. Then the wire is pulled by hand through a draw plate. Continually adjusting the rollers, the smith feeds the square block through increasingly thinner slits in the rolling machine until she has a thin sheet of silver called plate. Next, the smith saws the plate into precisely measured pieces for the structure and the motif of the clasp she is going to make. The silversmith carefully constructs the box clasp by soldering together individual pieces of silver plate. Once the box is complete, she will add the decorative pattern. To decorate the clasp, tiny spheres of granulation are formed by heating bits of scrap silver until they ball up. Once made, the balls are carefully sorted by size. Using tweezers, the smith positions each granule on the box, slowly building an ornate design. A paste made from little red beans called sago talik is used to hold the design in place. Made from silver, copper, and water, a special solder used only for granulation is brushed over the silver balls and heated with a wide torch flame. With the soldering complete, the silver is cleaned with the sticky, astringent inside of the tamarind fruit, then dipped into an antiquing solution, which oxidizes the metal turning it a dark charcoal color. Finally, the clasp is brought to the polishing wheel. The raised portions of the pattern become shiny silver, while the background remains dark, a contrast that beautifully highlights the intricate pattern.